Hello, today I'm going to show you this Yukon 7 camper van. It's from Frankia. It's based on uh, the Mercedes Sprinter. There's the price. Because if I hadn't have told you, you wouldn't have believed me. 138,700. And you know what? For that type of money, you could get something good. Indeed, you could get a almost new Frankia motorhome liner, which is what I would suggest you did in these circumstances. Having said that, maybe I'm just being too critical as maybe for the most recent model of Yukon, they've done something good. Okay, the back, we've got a German layout. Uh, so those of you who are tall will fit in quite easily. And we've taken motorhome uh, way of doing things because under here we will find a wardrobe and there you can have a look down the rest of the vehicle so you can see out so anything long to carry then it fit there possibly and step up to the bed at least when this bit isn't in place but the bed isn't particularly high there's also a step there anyway as I come in here I can no longer stand upright so uh, I'm, I'm crouched but it's not crouched too much I suppose my head is kinked to one side uh, let's have a look in the washroom now the Mercedes Sprinter is not a particularly easy thing to actually build a washroom with uh, it would have been better in my opinion if it didn't have this door but at least the door is pointing in the right direction down here we see we've got this enormous shower so it gets full marks for the enormous shower there's me inside got lots of light in here and in fact if anything it's too bright uh look all this space i got here we've got the sink here and let's just push the sink in and now you see the first problem it's not clicking in place okay well you saw the toilet that should click in place. These things go wrong constantly. And so uh, that, that would be the, the first point that I would make about that. Is that, that. Okay, things for you hanging your coat up with. One of them's disappeared, but we are at a trade fair and that's probably what's happened. There you go, more storage. Do note the outside wall, the way it slopes down there. In here, we have got a two-way fridge. And the kitchen, well, it's not too bad, the kitchen. It's got proper walls to the drawers, as you can see. Bit of space there to prepare stuff. Yeah, bear in mind, uh, we all limit it is a camper van can't really expect much bigger than that all oh, that sink is somewhat small uh, and here storage as well um right behind me two seats we've got an enormous table so last something is saving the uh, vehicle uh, there is a double floor down there so that that is a plus and standing height here well, I'm standing up right now I'll turn the camera around there's me and you can see well okay I've got a bit of space uh, above my head so if you're like 182 3 you should be all right centimeters tall that is uh, up here we've got a wonderful skylight oh I do like a big skylight okay come out here here we've got this, which is a fly net. Ooh, and now that's got stuck. Let's go around to the back. Oh, by the way, I should, maybe I'll show one or two of the things here. These are the extras, right? Starting off price, 106,800, but nobody pays that. Right, so a parking packet, 360 degree uh, parking sensor, I presume. Uh, that's nearly 5,000. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, which is expensive, there you go. Leather 
uh, seating 4,390. I must say though, I do rather like the colour scheme on, uh, on this one. And let you can see from the back, you do have a lot of space here. Uh, in here we've got the gas, and we've got the, to show you how the, those things go in. But I'm quite honest, at this amount of money, I think I'd rather have something which I can pull, up, pull out and pull in. Here's another one here, let's have a look at this one. This one here is going to cost, there you go, it's a 63G, so it's a 6 metre one, 77,600. That's a huge price difference for losing one metre on, on the van. Uh, kitchen here, which this comes out to reveal the kitchen, there you go. There's the kitchen. This thing comes across like that okay well it's supposed to come a bit further than this but i just didn't want to but anyway you can see it's got all this storage below which is potentially useful and you've got here a worktop as well the sink of course could be a bit bigger slide out drawers and drawers down here Right, so we've got the same, uh, no sorry, we've got, <laughs> I'll take that back. Uh, this toilet is fixed, it's not one of these ones that comes in and out, so that's a good thing. The sink uh, goes up and down uh, depending on if you're using the toilet or not. And if I come inside the shower unit, uh, obviously there's a bit less space, but uh, I'd much rather have a toilet, uh, which, uh, which was available to me to be used rather than the one that got stuck. And at the back. Have a look round. And down here we've got a, a some more storage. So um, I wanted to show here, um, ba, 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 yeah, um, you can have two extra sleeping places down there. So that one there is what, it, it's 636 centimeters long, so it's what, 60 centimeters shorter than the first one. There's a Yukon on a Fiat base. We'll have a quick look at this one. This is considerably cheaper than the first one, <laughs> 85,000. Uh, so you could have the Mercedes, really. Uh, you know, the prices, the thing is this, so it depends on the options and things which are inside. Aha, but here, what this has got, which is useful, is the, uh, the bed. And this bed will move up and down electronically. We've got the, this, this is actually supposed to go up there, actually, rather than, <laughs> rather than down, down there. But what the back, you've got all of that space, and I think that is a pretty good thing to have. Look at all that massive amount of space in there. Right, uh, so uh, this is a CMT trade fair in uh, Stuttgart and uh, held in January, every January. So it's a, a great place to go. I'll show you this one. Yukon 6BD, which is 593 centimeters in length. This is the shortest one. And this thing here will cost 120,000. So you can only have a width-wise bed. So look at the toilet. Shower. Yeah, I'll get inside. It is difficult to build, so I will say with the... Of course, I'm knocking my head on this, but then again, there's not a lot of room anyway, isn't there? So, uh, it is a Mercedes, after all. Okay, uh, so, 
What don't I like? I think the price, for the price, you can get something far better than this. That's the number one thing I'd say. Some of Frankie's stuff is really good. Their liners are brilliant. In fact, I would say my favorite vehicle at the moment is a Frankie. Might have forgot the tent in the roof. Uh, that's number one point. The toilets, the, those toilets that move in and out are complete. They're, they're, it's, they're not a good idea. They break very, very easily. And indeed, at one trade fair, I think it was at Caravan Salon, a couple of years ago, I tried a number of them and more than half of them didn't work. This is a pilot toilet, so I'd give the toilets a miss if, they, the, if they're movable. Uh, um, the same goes for the sinks, which are movable as well. Uh, but it is a Frankie van, so it does look nice from that point of view. Anyway, oh, this one here, it's a 4x4, and that's added a considerable amount to the price, which I don't think I mentioned. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you found it interesting, and uh, if you did, then you might want to subscribe. I upload every day at 21.15 Central European Time, which is 20.15 in the UK, or 12.15 in California. This is the largest site on YouTube for motorhomes and campervans. So, all the best from me in Germany. Thanks for watching.